Hello everyone, Cindy here with Monarch Mom DIY. Thank you so much for joining me today on my channel where I love to bring you the best tips and tools to inspire you to create beautiful home decor on a budget. Today I have seven more Valentine home decor DIYs for you that are quick and easy to make but look really great and high end. So let's get crafting. For today's first DIY, we're going to use this heart plate from Hobby Lobby, some beads from Dollar Tree, and this stencil from Magnolia Design Company to make a really cute sign for Valentine's. This plate was normally $3.99, but of course it's usually always 40% off. I took my white Waverly chalk paint and I did do two coats um, over that center part there. Let it dry really well and just take your time with a flat brush going around the edge to get as close as possible to that round edge. But you'll see towards the end that we're actually going to cover up where the white paint meets the red of the plate. So once my two coats of chalk paint had completely dried, I took my matte Mod Podge and I did go over just the white paint part of my project and let that dry. Next, I took this one stencil from our Christian Love Quads that says Love Never Fails and has the scripture reference in 1 Corinthians, centered that on the white middle of our plate, and then just used some black chalk paste to stencil this onto the center. I was originally going to glue some baker's twine around the white circle, but then I decided to take one of these round wood bead wreaths from Dollar Tree, and when I bent open the metal, I could remove, it looked at, like I needed about four beads less so that the round circle would be a little bit smaller to fit exactly around the painted white section of my plate. So once I got it secured um, back closed and kind of reshaped a little bit, I did take it outside and spray paint it black. And then I'm just going to hot glue around my white paint circle and glue down this black beaded wreath. Then taking some baker's twine, I'm going to go through those two side hearts. We're going to loop a piece of baker's twine through put some tape on the end, and then we're gonna bead some of the white beads from the Dollar Tree beaded garland to make our hanger. Once we had the beads on both sides, then I took the two pieces together and tied them, trimmed off the excess, and then we had our beaded hanger for our Love Never Fails plate. If you're stopping by my channel for the first time today, welcome. I'm so glad that you found me, and I hope that you'll consider sticking around by hitting that subscribe button. If you're one of my returning viewers or subscribers, thank you so much for returning to my channel each and every week and for your continued support and encouragement. I hope everyone will go ahead and click that bell, check to see that your notifications are set to all, and then YouTube should notify you each time I upload a new video or go live here on my channel. 
For DIY number two, we're gonna make a little candle box with some heart stuffies. I'm going to use these Valentine treat sacks and also some of these felt hearts to make some stuffed hearts for the box and using a thrift store gift box to hold everything. So the first thing I did is take a piece of cardstock, fold it in half and trace my heart shape, cut that out and then we're gonna use this to place on top of each of the sacks I'm gonna staple it to the front of the sack and then cut around it. So I'll have a front and a back cut pretty much they should be the same size and shape. And I'm gonna do this to two of these red heart sacks and two of the pink heart sacks. I'm also going to take two of each color of these felt hearts and we're going to make some stuffed hearts out of these as well to add to our box. So like I said, the box I'm using, it looks like it had some sort of maybe sausage gift package in it for Christmas. I just removed the sliding lid and I'm gonna give the entire outside of this box a coat of white Waverly chalk paint. Now coming back to our heart shapes, I'm gonna take my glue gun and holding the two hearts together, I'm gonna to glue a little bit around the edge at a time and then gently press it down to put our front and back pieces together. I'm gonna to do the two rounded parts of the heart and then I'm gonna go all the way down one of the sides to the point. I'm gonna glue all four of those like that and then we'll come back and start stuffing them with some polyfill. Now that the glue has had time to dry, I'm gonna take little bunches of the polyfill and first fill that far side all the way up to the rounded part. We'll come and fill the rounded part closest to us and then as we fill the heart, we're going to glue down that side a little bit at a time as well. And this is the process I'm gonna use for all four of these treat sack hearts until we have just like these little heart stuffy pillows to fill our little candle box. I'm going to do the same gluing method for the felt hearts, but of course I'm gonna glue inside the punched out hearts that are there. And then we're also gonna take some jute twine and kind of sew in and out of those heart-shaped holes as well once it is completely stuffed and glued shut. So again, I'm adding a little bit of the polyfill to the felt hearts. I did notice because the felt hearts are stiffer, you don't wanna add very much polyfill because otherwise you get these creases in the felt heart. But just put in a little bit, seal it shut, and then like I said, I'm gonna take some jute twine and sew around each of these hearts using the heart punch shaped holes. To add a little more decoration to the outside of the box, I took this cursive love off of one of the tags I'm gonna use in a later project in this video. It was a black glitter, and so I'm gonna take my crimson Waverly chalk paint. It did take two coats to cover the black, and I'm just gonna paint over that and let that dry. Then I'm gonna hot glue it to the front of our little box here. Thank you. 
Once I had that glued on the front, I'm going to put all my stuffed hearts inside, just kind of arranging them so they look cute. Then I have this square glass container and a battery powered candle that I'm gonna set right in the front. And I love how this turned out. These little heart stuffies are really fun to make and you can make them out of a lot of different things. DIY number three is gonna be a cute round sign using this Volkswagen car from Dollar Tree, some ribbon. This round is from Hobby Lobby and this stencil from Magnolia Design Company. So I believe this is about a 12 inch round from Hobby Lobby. They come in a pack of three, but you can use any round surface that you'd like. I'm gonna use Waverly's Antique Wax, brush that on, and then with a paper towel, you can see I misted some water on there just to make it a little more uh, versatile to be able to come off easily. It hadn't dried yet. And we're gonna wipe off the excess. And I just love how this brings out the grain of the wood and just makes this look really high end really quickly and easily. So before I paint this little Volkswagen car, I'm gonna take some wood filler and just fill in the holes that the hanging string was attached to. This is really easy to do. And I feel like just taking this little extra step really will elevate the look of your finished product. So then once that was dry, I did sand it a little bit, I decided to paint my car pink. And so I'm using Ballet Slipper by Waverly. And then we'll also use some crimson and some elephant. I'm gonna use the dark gray for the tires instead of black. And then we'll paint the bumpers and the hubcaps with our crimson. Once I had the car painted, I did take some red and kind of outline the pink, and then I thought it was too dark, so then I took my sander, and I'm just blending those edges a little bit just to try to add some dimension. I'm definitely not a painter, so I just kind of kept going around until I got this how I liked it. I did also take my sander around the edges of the three-dimensional pieces to give them a little bit of a sanded look as well. Once the antique wax on our round was dry, I took my white chalk paint and a little palette knife. Just wanted to kind of frame out the edges of my round, so just gave it a little bit of a white border. Not solid, but just kind of haphazardly, and I really always love how this turns out. It just adds so much to the final project. Once that was dry, I did spray my round with clear matte spray. I decided to go around my car again with a little bit of a black Sharpie just to outline it a little bit more. And then I added this Dollar Tree pink heart to the door of the car. Once the car was finished, I took hot glue and I glued it down here on the bottom part of our wood round. I decided for the stencil I was not going to use the ladybug, so I painted a red or a wood heart with red that I'm gonna put in place of the O. Once I had my stencil in place, I'm using my white chalk paste. I'm just going to stencil the LVE right here, and then I'm gonna move the stencil over to the right to do the little heart-shaped um, dotted lines and the word bug so that the title, the words, go all the way across this part of the round.
Then once that's dry, we'll add that red heart to the place where the O goes in the word love bug. I really like how easy it is to incorporate these stencils into projects and add words. For the top of my round, I'm gonna make a messy bow. So I'm cutting two pieces of each of the ribbons that I'm choosing to use for this Valentine themed project. And so we're cutting the two lengths. Then we're going to dovetail. So fold in half the two pieces of ribbon and then cut at an angle so that you get that little dovetailed end on each of the ribbons. Once we get those trimmed, we'll lay them on the table, crisscross, going back and forth left and right until we've layered all the way up to the front of our bow. Then once we have them all layered on top of each other, we'll piece, take a piece of jute twine, flip it over and tie them together in the middle to make this really fun and cute messy bow. Then we'll just hot glue that to the top of the project. And then I do believe I end up gluing a white button to the center as well. For a complete list of all the supplies I've used in today's projects, please click the down arrow next to the title of this video. That should open up the description box where you will find a complete list for each project, as well as links to my Amazon storefront for my most used DIY tools and supplies, and the link to my Magnolia website. DIY number four is gonna be a paper craft. We're gonna make this little Valentine treat holder that looks like a mailbox. This is perfect to hold two of these, I can never say it right, Ferrero Rocher candies. So we're gonna take some solid color card stock and we're gonna cut this at, what is that? Five and five eighths, I believe, and four and one eighth. So I'm gonna do a pink one and I'm gonna do a red one. So five and five eighths by four and one eighth. And don't worry, I'll put all these dimensions in the description box of the video. So you don't need to write them down right now. So this piece of solid cardstock is going to be the base of our box, our little mailbox, where we'll put the treats. So putting it on our scoreboard on the long side, we're going to score at one and three eighths on the left there. And then I believe it's four and a quarter on the right. So score that on that long side. Then we're gonna flip it. On the shorter side, we're gonna do one and three eighths again. And two and three fourths. That's gonna give us the same size border all the way around, okay? We're gonna do that to the pink one as well. Now for the mailbox part, we're gonna cut a piece at two and seven eighths by six inches. That's gonna be the rounded part that goes over. And then we're gonna score it at three quarters of an inch and at five and a quarter. So we have a three quarter inch uh, score on either of the short ends. Okay, and then we're just doing the same thing to the second piece. Now, to make the box, we're gonna go ahead and, oops, sorry, we're gonna cut one, two more pieces of red and two more pieces of pink. We're gonna cut two and seven eighths by one half inch, and you'll need two of those pieces for each of the mailbox. So two and seven eighths by one and a half inches. Okay, so now we're gonna come to our bottom of the box piece. Go ahead and just fold on all those score lines. And then I'm gonna show you how you're going to cut it, score it, so that you can fold together your box. All right, so on the long side, you're gonna cut up that little uh, notch there and then notch it in diagonally. 
You can see what I'm doing probably better than I can explain it. So cut straight up that score and then angle in a little bit on the shorter tab side. Then on all four of those tabs, you're gonna cut about half of it off. Okay, so we're just gonna make those tabs a little bit smaller. Now this might go kind of fast. Feel free to come back, save it, pause it, and then we're gonna put glue on the inside of those little flaps and tuck them into the long sides. Okay, you're gonna fold it up and glue it. We're gonna do this on both sides. I'm using Tombow glue, you could use tacky glue. You just probably don't wanna use um, a tape runner adhesive and that's how you're gonna fold that little box together. Then the patterned paper, you're gonna fold each of those three quarter inch scores that you made take a tape runner adhesive and put it on that small piece. And then you're gonna attach one of the uh, smaller pieces of cardstock, fold it around, put some tape runner on the other side. And so you can see we're kind of attaching it to that piece to make the mailbox shape. And then we're gonna take the second one and attach it to the bottom. So it holds that all together. I'll show you here in a second. The bottom of the box slides right into it and you've got a cute little mailbox that will hold your two candies. These are just adorable, and really, once you get the idea of how to make it, really quick and easy to make, would make cute little gifts for coworkers, um, students, anybody you can think of. So I then cut out these little um, rectangles. You could do heart shapes, and I made a little flag for the mailbox, and we'll just glue that on to the side. If you love budget home decor DIY videos like this, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as that lets YouTube know people are enjoying my content and they will show it to more and more viewers. For DIY number five, I'm gonna take two of these Dollar Tree Valentine tag shapes and add a bunch of other elements to it to just make it my own. And this is such a fun project to just kind of create as you go. So these tags are a nice good size. They come with a beaded hanger. I'm gonna take that off. There you can see that black cursive love that we used earlier in the candle box. I'm gonna remove both of these raised elements and then any paper that's hanging over the edge. You've seen me do this with some of the wood shapes. I'm actually gonna glue these two tag shapes together with some wood glue to make it one bigger, more solid, thicker piece that we're just going to have the two backsides facing us so we have kind of a blank canvas. So you can see I'm running out of my wood glue there, but we had enough. I'm gonna line them up, line up the holes as well because we will need to add a hanger back to this. And then I'm gonna use my clamps from Dollar Tree to hold this all together until it is completely dry. So once we have our nice double thick tag, we have a great surface here to work with. I'm deciding to make the base coat of this white. So I'm gonna add a coat of my white Waverly chalk paint, trying to not get it on the side edges, and then we'll let that dry completely. I'm gonna use a couple pieces of scrapbook cardstock. I'm gonna cut this one at nine inches by eight and a half. And this is going to layer across the middle of our tag, kind of like this, um, a bigger portion of it. And then I'm gonna cut a smaller piece of this. Um, looks like I'm cutting it at six inches and also eight and a half. And we're gonna layer this piece across the center of the other piece. I love the floral with the more kind of geometric pattern. This project is just really fun to put together. Then I took cardstock again and I cut a skinnier heart that I end up not even using this wood heart, but it was a good idea if you don't have what I end up using. You can trace on this and use some really heavy duty scissors to cut out that thin wood. I just wanted a different shape than what was on there. 
Now I'm taking some Mod Podge and I'm gonna put it just on the area where I'm gonna lay the scrapbook paper down and we'll layer that larger piece. And then once that's dry, we will layer the floral piece across the center. So the next piece I was going to use was going to be that skinny wood heart, but instead at the last minute, I decided I wanted to add some more texture. So I'm tracing that heart now onto a piece of the adhesive cork from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna cut out that heart, and then I'm going to attach this down to the front of our tag. Then to layer on top of this, I'm gonna use one of these chunky wood hearts from Dollar Tree. I did fill the hole in with some hot glue and I'm gonna use this folk art matte vintage tea rose color for painting that chunky heart. And then I'm also gonna take it and I'm gonna kind of just barely brush it around the edges of my tag. Again, you've seen me do this before. I just really feel like framing out the project just adds so much to it and elevates the look. I was really excited when I found this next item at Dollar Tree this year. It's this heart lace ribbon and I decided to add it a little more texture and variety to this project across the bottom of our scrapbook paper here and then we'll also put another piece across the top. Next, I made a jute twine bow by just wrapping the twine a few times around my hand and then tying it in the center. We're gonna glue this to the top of our tag. And then I'm gonna take one of these flowers that was from a ribbon at Hobby Lobby. I did cut it a little bit smaller, a little rosette there with the green just to bring that color out from the paper and glue that up to the top. Next, we'll glue that chunky heart on. Now that it's dry, we're gonna glue that right in the center of the uh, cork heart there. And we're almost finished with this project and I'm loving how it's turning out. Taking another piece of the jute twine and one of these metal keys, I've had this in my stash for a long time from Michaels. Um, you can actually order keys on my Magnolia website. I'm gonna just string this onto the twine and then tie a knot across the center of the chunky heart. I will add a couple dots of glue on the back of the key as well to try to keep it in place. I absolutely love how this turned out. And of course you can take this idea, use your own paper and other elements to make it your own. For DIY number six, we're gonna take a couple of these mini lanterns from Dollar Tree and we're going to give them a Valentine makeover. So I love these mini lanterns. I think they're so adorable. You can decorate them for any color scheme or season or holiday. I am taking my crimson Waverly chalk paint and I'm going to paint pretty much every area of these lanterns except for the two sides. All right, so the tops, the bottom, the crisscross in the front and the back. And then we're gonna add some Valentine scrapbook paper on the sides. So I've cut some two inch by four inch pieces, two pieces of two different papers. We're gonna make two different lanterns here. 
And so I'm putting some Mod Podge on one of the sides of the lantern now that the paint is dry. I'm gonna spritz a little bit of water on the back of the scrapbook paper and just attach this down to the Mod Podge. I'm gonna do this same paper on both sides of this lantern and then we'll let it dry completely and then we'll attach the paper to the two sides of the other lantern here. I'm using this really cute stripe one. Both of these papers, by the way, are from Hobby Lobby. Once the Mod Podge was dry, I did take my little sander and just go in a downward motion just to clean up any scrapbook paper that might be hanging over the edges. Then I decided to add a little strand of beads to each of these lanterns. Of course, this is optional. I'm using that same baker's twine and looping a piece through the hanger of the lantern. Put some tape on the end and then we'll be able to add some of the beads. I'm reusing the beads that came off of the, I believe this was off the hanger of one of the tags that we used in an earlier project. So I'm not gonna use all of them, but I'm gonna use some red and some um, unfinished beads on each of these lanterns. Then the last thing I'm gonna do to finish off these lanterns is take this thin black ribbon and I'm just gonna tie a simple bow that I'm gonna glue to the front of each of the lanterns. And here's our finished lanterns. These would be super cute on a Valentine tiered tray. If you're on Facebook, I would love it if you would head over to my Monarch Mom DIY Facebook page. Follow me there and I go live there three times a week with different DIY projects than what I'm doing here on YouTube. Our final DIY for today might be my favorite one from this video. I'm using some paint sticks, this um, nautical rope, some florals, and I will be using a few Scrabble tiles. I'm gonna first take 10 of the paint sticks and line them up side by side. Then I'm taking three more that I've trimmed a little bit and I'm gluing these to the back of the other 10. This is how we're gonna make this little palette sign or pallet wood looking sign. So once the glue was all dry, we're gonna flip this over and we're going to use our Waverly's Antique Wax again in the same way. We're gonna brush it on and then wipe off the excess to give our project a nice dark stained wood look. Once the antique wax was dry, I'm taking this sponge and I'm putting some white uh, chalk paint on it. I'm just gonna distress my sign a little bit. I, I should say it's not really a sponge, it's like a scrubby for scrubbing your dishes. I saw um, someone else use this idea and I thought it was genius. So then I am gonna also use a chip brush kind of to go in some of the spaces. And then if you end up having more paint than you want, you can just then use your sander and sand some of it away. Now I'm taking this wood heart and I'm just using it to trace it on the front of my sign. For this project, I liked the uh, shape of this, the width of this heart, but we're gonna save the actual heart for another project. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my nautical rope and I'm starting to glue it in the heart shape, but 
on the inside of the one that I traced. So this nautical rope heart, if you saw the thumbnail, is gonna end up having three layers. So we're starting on the inside. We'll go all the way around the heart, and then I'll show you how we'll kind of come up and over to do the next layer. So we're gonna build this heart from the inside out. And you can see I, I did pull it in a little bit more so that I had some space. So just using the hot glue and just going a little bit at a time for this first heart while you get the shape, then you'll be able to go a little faster. So here you can see I came to the top of the heart. Now I'm gonna go up and over and really make sure that's pressed down really well. And then now I'm just gonna trace around the outside a second time and then a third time. Once my heart was done on the front, I did take a piece of doubled over thin jute twine, just tied some knots, and I'm hot gluing it under that top cross piece there on the back so that we have a hanger. Then I'm just gonna take one flower and some leaves, glue these over on the left-hand side. I just loved how this project came together. It's very neutral compared to the other projects that I made today. But again, you can always take these projects and change up the color um, for whatever your decor preferences are. I decided the bottom corner needed a little something, so I went in my stash of Scrabble tiles and I got the letters to spell the word love and I feel like this was just the touch that this bottom corner needed. Then just taking a few little pieces of raffia, I'm going to glue them under the leaves there so they're kind of spraying out from the bottom of the flower and also at the top. Thanks again so much for joining me today. As always, please let me know in the comments which of these projects was your favorite, and we'll see you next time. Take care.